my therapist has helped me realize that shame, I can't believe I didn't put this on the block list. Shame is the number one block. Go. It's, 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 what do you, it, well, I'm just, more. I'm just driven by shame. My body, my mind, my soul is, and it, it that, that does not, shame does not go hand in hand with like, um, humility. Humility is a virtue, but shame is just, I hate myself, which is just a sister cousin of, of, of vanity. Right? I mean, it's yeah. just like, yeah, like, um, yeah, so if you're hating well, yourself and I, loving yourself. But yeah, I think you would also agree that that there's value to shame. Uh, as a there's non toxic shame. My therapist says uh, a little kid. The reason why I have the mechanism is so that a little kid at the top of a flight of stairs with their giant head <laughs> that they can't balance, um, when the, they can receive from a gesture and a look and a tone of voice from their mommy down at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, no. Um, and that the, the non-toxic shame, um, it, it imprints on them like, Oh, the top of these stairs, they are a mommy disappointer. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Like, like, like it, it, it's a good, it's a bookmark mechanism for sentient primates that can get themselves in a lot of trouble if they only go by what feels good and what doesn't kill them. Because we are, we spend the first 14 years of our development as a gangly um, leopard bait. <laughs> like, like, yeah. So, so shame, good shame is like uh, mom and dad, like they get, they got really freaked out when I um, started swallowing this hot poker. Um, I, or, well, that's a bad example. That has yeah. its own, you don't need to be ashamed of that. It burns. Yeah. But they, they got real, you, know, you detect and you judge it is like toxic shame is it's not going to make any difference. You know, the, 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 they say the definition of a phobia is it's fine to be scared of spiders. They're creepy and gross. If you can't go in your kitchen and you're late to work because there's a spider in there. Now we're in phobia territory because the spider probably isn't a brown recluse and you're now late for work. So now you have an, yeah, now you have arachnophobia. Toxic shame is, you're fucking yourself up and you're not getting, you're not, you're not avoiding falling down any stairs anymore. <laughs> you're just, you're yeah. anything. You're well, like, that, but it, yeah, to the parental thing, it's like, there's also norms and sort of cultural, I think shame's, it's how we learn the rule. It's that it's the rules. It's kind of like the norms and the expectations of a shared society. Yeah. I don't, I'm, that's why I'm kind of like pro shame. In Pro, some yeah, ways, and wait, we're just splitting these hairs to because there's, like, there's no like there's no Hogwarts for this, and there's no like like plumbing union. Like it's it 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 it's a semantic game, and there's no like that. Word. Even like when does it become toxic? I guess if, yeah. if you're well, if I think it it's, when it's, when it's especially when it's self inflicted, and it's only causing you to do more things that are affecting other people. I think that a nice litmus test is if if the shame is the reason you didn't do something unhealthy and also um, uh, if it didn't cause you to hurt yourself. Um, and that includes emotionally. So right. that, there's the difference right there. The, that's why the word shame is has us like kind of going, well, wait a minute, because yeah. shame sounds just generally terrible, punitive, and bad. Um, you're, but your mom's not saying you're a terrible human being for being at the top of the stairs. She's saying the opposite. She's saying, I love you. Do not fucking, you have a giant head uh, and you are, you are not an acrobat and you are designed to break into pieces um, like get step back and you just feel this flood. I get a modern example that is, is like, I was, I remember being in an edit bay and community and, um, I had a terrible, terrible habit. This is, um, very, very, this is, I, you know, 2009, I had carried with me a terrible Midwestern habit of, um, using certain words that, um, uh, that that r r refer to um, uh, somebody's mental deficiencies. No, arguably worse because it was. Is it like the, the, I, I I would say things were gay, uh, uh, meaning like yep. lame or bad or dumb. Again, um, from the seventies. Yeah, and 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 not defending it. It's just no, like this was this was a thing. Like we would say did. this yeah. was a thing that was common. Is like I had carried this 
verbal disease into the edit bay in 2009. So, so, and I, I the, the editor, um, I, I don't, I, I'm going to not name him because I don't, I don't know if he, he might want credit or not want credit. Yeah. I don't know. But I had an editor who was editing and then, um, um, he never like wheeled around in his chair and like took me to task. I'm not saying that's great that he didn't do that. I'm just pointing out that he fucking sat there and he would have sat there forever. I, as far as I know, I then said at one point, like in a kind of weird I was like, but you know what? I keep using that that word. I'm sorry, and I, I didn't. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't think I knew that he was gay, or maybe I did. I don't. It doesn't matter that much yeah. to the story. What matters is that he turned around in his chair and he locked eyes with me, and he said, "Well, you know, I know fully well that it mean the word means nothing to you, but um, I I appreciate you giving it a second thought because um, I want you to know that when I hear that word, it, it causes these experiences for me and these memories." that I have from, from being on the playground. Sorry, I'm just making me, um, cause I'm not the protagonist of that story. And it's like, so I have this like, and it makes like, you, it makes you cry when you're not the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> it's you hate it so yeah, much. It's, it's like water on my witch. I'm like, <laughs> that's how easy it is to beat me. <laughs> Swiveling a simple spotlight. The, tw the twice a year realization that you're not the protagonist. <laughs> twice a year <laughs> fuck you buddy this, this is a story from a 20 years oh, ago yeah exactly you're i'll never the, meet my of, match again uh, <laughs> no one will ever be that <laughs> editor um it, it, he, he but he he communicated with me i obviously felt like a little bit of like some weird band-aid corner of shame that i expressed that he then did this noble thing where he waited for that then didn't just blow it off yeah said his humanity the whole thing gave me what I would call shame, but not the kind of shame that makes me a piece of shit 90% of the right. yeah. time. It was good shame. There's yeah. good cholesterol. There's good things. It's like I am properly ashamed about the, everything around that experience. and it. But I feel growth about it. I feel good about yeah. it. Yeah. That what's okay. So what's what are some things that come to mind about when you think of negative shame? Oh well, just I mean, it's it goes to the that magical thinking thing, um, because it's the unconscious. It's like you don't even register as as shame. Um, you get into relationships with 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 people at different phases of their life. Your 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 career is linked to paying your mortgage. That's linked to um, uh, taking care of someone that you love the most in the world. Um, it, it's yourself, out of your control. Yourself. I'm in addition to all of the cultural fluctuations where people might on any given day just announce to you your career is literally in permanent jeopardy because of a comedy sketch that you um made in 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 2003 um like uh or your or it's literally in jeopardy because of of um something that someone that you're working with is doing um has done a million years ago or that you don't control and like me me coming home and flipping my dining room table over that's that's shame that's not helping anybody it didn't help my dining room table it didn't help my it didn't change my you know yeah it, it didn't it didn't you're ashamed of of your response i'm well i'm a I'm, I think I'm healthily ashamed of, of what I'm describing to you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, right. But what I'm saying is I'm like. I'm saying the toxic shame is what maybe. If yeah. you're flipping a dining. It's a, a Jeff Foxworthy's. Uh, 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 to re paraphrase Jeff Foxworthy. Yes. If you're flipping your dining room table over and screaming and the only per at the only person in your home who is the only person who hasn't hurt you and that yeah. you're trying to protect, you might be a toxic shame neck. I, like 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 Cody, it's like I'm I'm if I'm swallowing stuff down in about my career, and then I'm my I'm I'm traumatizing my dogs, and I'm and I'm I'm going on rants at the foot of my bed, where my only audience is is a person that is has nothing to do with any yeah. of it. I find I that is now I, now I'm it's toxic shame because it's proliferating. I'm taking carbon dioxide and turning it into 
carbon monoxide instead but, of right, oxygen. But I don't, that doesn't sound like shame to me, though. That sounds like a response to hardship or difficulty. Yeah, well, it's self pity and it's yeah. linked to shame. I yeah. mean, it's all, it's like. But <laughs> like, I, th flipping the table, I would be ashamed of that. But all the other stuff of like career difficulty or, or peril. Okay, it, I can do a better example. You just okay. shamed me. Um, no, no, that's not my better example. And thank you for healthfully shaming my terrible example of toxic shame. Here's an easy, easy, easy one. Um, and then you can cut to a commercial a, 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 about um, uh, he's, he's mental health. He's getting ready to shame me. <laughs> Go ahead. But um, this doesn't. This never happens with Cody. But every relationship leading up to Cody is Cody your your wife. Cody Heller. Cody. Uh, all right, that's what I thought. I was like, yeah, because yeah, we have uh, mutual friends. Uh, a, a, a asterisk. Uh, 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 fascinating Hollywood trivia. Uh, um, uh, showrunner of uh, season one of Jury Duty. Correct. Um, now you can play a clip of of somebody going like, clip. "We're on jury." Great. Okay. Um, We're on jury. Every every partner leading up to Cody. Uh, if if I'm lay, if I was laying in bed and they said it's a beautiful day outside, I would say so, because what I would hear them saying is um, maybe we should go out and you don't go out enough and all you want to do is sit in bed and you're letting me down and I could have a better boyfriend who now is more talking. athletic and 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 um, and he's out there and I bet if I go out there by myself uh, you'll probably just sit here like Mr. Burns and like um, wait for me to come back and then and then turn on a, a lamp that you had specially uh, shipped in just so you could dramatically turn it on in the corner and say did you have fun outside <laughs> um, that Th that is all happening in my head and i'm now i'm now i'm i'm st what I'm, the person's getting a response from me that's as if they said all that yeah that's toxic shame yes i that now we're thinking. talking yeah that's yeah the ma the projection or the assumption or it's it's just make it's being presumptuous uh, and negatively about other people's. Yeah, it's writing a script for them that they don't even have, that they didn't read, and then responding to them as if now it's your job to like defend yourself. And they're yeah. like, well, "Who the fuck are you? Who, wh wh like, who are you even talking to? Like, like, how are you? How do you deal with it? Because I, I tried to write I a joke about found, this yesterday. I found a girlfriend that will not get out of bed. That's what I said. Like, I'm not getting better. I just <laughs> you just have figured out to game. You gamed your life. I'm just filling my furnace with shame. I'm learning to convert all of my other flaws into shame, which yeah. is good because they're flaws. But I don't know how to. So there's a there's a so you've just made it so there there's no tension because you guys are so similar. I yeah. I've not, if Cody says it's a beautiful day outside, I'm like <laughs> I can finally go. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, what do you have in mind about that? And she's like, and she's like very quickly like, no, I don't, oh, I didn't. Like she'll clarify. Like yeah, like, she gets don't get, nervous. Don't get me wrong. She's about to. She accidentally got herself on a track to flying a kite. <laughs> she's like, oh, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, not. It's not like that. <laughs> I was about to say it's a beautiful day to listen to another. The next step is <laughs> true being, crime podcast. Being sarcastic about it, like it's a beautiful day outside. Yeah, you fucking stupid ass day I'm, I'm trying to work on it it's like like i really you know yeah so it's like the shame thing is the biggest it's my godzilla it's the thing that if i have to deal with it it's i i liken it to like um asthma or something like like it's like i think it would be unreasonable to think i could flip it you know with some epiphany or something it just needs to be somehow reduced and my my therapist says that um, the 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 cure for shame is 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 self esteem and self esteem can't be conjured it has it it, it it's derived from esteemable acts mm. and to which I say so you want me to go work in a soup kitchen or hang gliding what is the and she's like I don't know let's examine why that's your image of a person with it being esteemable um, but it's not what and and what I've found is that my version of an esteemable act is um is in like I like making furniture I like I like I like I like like a workshop stuff so you can flip it right 
you make tables so you can flip them later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I make special <laughs> tables with um, secret handle uh -huh. grips, on, uh, specially placed yeah. so that other people, when they try to flip my dining room table, yeah. it'll be like when they tried to siphon gas out of Mad Max's car. It's just uh -huh. like, I, I'll put dynamite under there. But like <laughs> The table will flip them. But then I just like reach over and go, what's the big deal? It's yeah. just a table. Yeah, flip it's right it. here. And you see you're an armoire. You're like, well, where are the where are the flipping bars? Yeah. <laughs> where, 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 why aren't you mad, bro? Maybe your job's not hard. Yeah. I don't see this uh, table flipping. I also like that you're so anti-hobbies that you're like that hang gliding is an esteemable act. <laughs> I know. Well, You're like hang I gliding, of course, because that's, I know where that's, it's just it's that was back. a Mount John Denver <laughs> and like that's natural living. Yeah. Is putting on a helmet and jumping off a cliff. I always that's, picture that's, hang gliding. Whatever. That's better for the environment. Somehow. <laughs> that's literally what the late, late 70s, early 80s would, that was the messaging. Uh, I mean, um, what do you do esteemable acts? Well, no, I was thinking about that, the, the, the esteemable acts. I got uh, self-esteem uh, not from esteemable acts. I just got, I got them from drugs, mm -hmm. honestly, MDMA and ayahuasca. You so, mean ayahuasca, yeah, just, yeah, yeah to be clear. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't do anything in particular because I have the, that you may have also, which is if I'm doing, because I don't like doing things I don't like doing, <laughs> I will just be resentful and sulky right. the whole time. Right. If I'm like, oh, is this esteemable enough? Yeah. Like, yeah exactly. You, yeah. Like, that's oh, what, so, so, all right, that's a good like way this? to get killed in hang gliding, they say. Oh, the best. If you try to pout, <laughs> <laughs> that they say that, that yeah, yeah it's, it's the number one thing. It's <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's like, if you don't have the right you form. You literally, in, chapter one of the hang gliders handbook is called lean in. Yeah. You it, cannot it's don't the definition. Of there's the a pout with part. a line through it. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says there's a high pressure system coming in. A little, I'm not really used to the green screen.